my channel today and we are going to be doing a brand new Sims 4 creative sim video and so today I bring you Monica and Frankie Elkins. Now if you don't remember my plant lovers home build that I did a couple of days ago I will link it down below in the description because you can kind of get a general idea of what their house looks like but also kind of a little bit of their backstory but I will be telling more of the backstory in this video because I did want to give you a little bit of snippet in one video but didn't want to give you too much so if you haven't seen that video link down below check it out it's really cool I had so much fun using the new plant lovers kit which I know it's not called that because I know it's not but it's my plant favorite kit of all time however regardless Monica and Frankie Elkins are a brother and sister duo. Monica is a 26 year old female who recently graduated from Brychester University in the biology track, but also recently went back to do communications, but later on dropped out because of her parents' health and death to take care of her brother who is around eight years old now and he's doing really well for himself and his name is Frankie Elkins. Now for Monica with her going back to university and dropping out later to go ahead and take care of her little brother is kind of a big deal for her because all her life she's always been that type of like big sister like the big you know sibling to take care of literally anyone and everyone even if they sh if she wasn't related to them or not she would take care of them no matter what. She's always been that like caring, loving, give type of person. Like her traits are good, green, fiend, and cheerful. She's that person who wants to make people happy, cheerful, excited about life and pursuing dreams that they never really thought they could do. But unless they actually tried, they could do it really, really well and succeed. And so with her kind of taking that next step in her life of dropping out of university for a second degree to one day open up her own garden shop in I, I don't know maybe Willow Creek or maybe Newcrest or maybe Magnolia Promenade she really does not know but all I know is that her parents told her that even if we're not going to be here for a very long time just know that if you set your mind to it you can succeed no matter what people say and so I kind of think that kind of stuck with her and she told her little brother even though that we don't see our parents today, just know that they're in our hearts forever and ever until the end of time. And I feel like Frankie kind of doesn't really understand everything, even though he has the aspiration as a whiz kid. He's a little bit of a goofball, but I wanted him to be able to understand that even though his parents aren't around, they are around in their home, in their everyday life, in their, you know, in their heart. And so I think he's slowly coming to terms to that. And Monica is definitely teaching him in that way. And so I definitely kind of agree with Monica with her whole, whole lifestyle, with having her little brother by her side, taking care of him and learning the ins and outs of life because Monica doesn't really have a lot of money to her name. She's always been that type of person who would spend a lot of money wisely but also not wisely and it kind of bit her in the butt when she got to university she didn't really have any money to kind of take care of tuition she took out a student loan that she's still technically paying back at the moment so she's kind of making ends meet with living in that small little tiny home in a new crest with her little brother while also simultaneously trying to build money for her own plant shop in either willow creek new crest or magnolia promenade because she doesn't really see herself kind of putting her business in you know like Brindlin Bay because Brindlin Bay in my mind is a very expensive high end or like not really high end but like expensive you know landmark the land value is so high that you can't really afford it and so Monica is thinking logically now because she has two mouths to feed and she has to take care of the house bills and just student loans so it's kind of difficult for her and I definitely want to see her like kind of push forward in that avenue. And so with Monica's like personality, even though she's good, green fiend and cheerful, she has a very cozy, you know, nice chill vibe to her. Like when she was in high school with her best friends, Sasha and Alex, they were like two peas in a pot or like the three amigos basically is what they call themselves <laughs> throughout high school. Like you have no idea. Sasha and Alex and Monica were like, yo we going here we're going there we're going to party all like nobody's business until it's 1999 you know stuff like that and I kind of think that they stuck around for a while but when they kind of went to college they kind of grew apart and I want to have Monica have that support system again because ever since she kind of went to university she really didn't have anyone it was just her 
and herself. And that was literally it. Her friends weren't there. Her parents weren't there. Her brother wasn't there. And so it was really difficult for her to kind of stay on top of things emotionally and also mentally and mentally, mentally and physically. And I think with Alex and Sasha coming back into our lives sooner rather than later, I think it'll be really fun for her, especially because, you know, hey, they could help her work in her new plant shop one day in the future, but also take care of Alex if she has to go out and about to do some traveling for her business or her for herself or just trying to find some money to pay back her student loans. Like she owes at least 15,000 simoleons in student loan debt. And it's not great for her right now because she only has 352 simoleons to her name. So she's not really doing great in money, but you know, she's not struggling, but struggling, but making ends meet the best possible way that she can. Now, here we go for Frankie. Frankie is like that kid, that kid who will break hearts. You look at him and you immediately know he will break your heart because he will. In, in good terms, of course. But when you look at him, he thinks that he is the head honcho above it all. You know, the kid of the, like the kid on the block, the top of the line, the top dog kid, everyone will know, love, and, you know, respect. And, you know, in my mind, I feel like that's not true because he's just crazy and silly and weird and a goofball, but he's really, really smart. Like he really thinks above, uh, he, he, like he thinks ahead above other people like you think you're one step ahead of him he's actually like 10 steps ahead of you and other people so like he's that smart and he plays it off like really really good of being like silly and weird and like not knowing anything but just watch just wait and see he'll like you go for one step and he'd be like oh i'm all the way over here um why aren't you in my level like get in my zone He's like, get on my level type of kid. And so he is definitely a kid you have to be looking out for before he like, you know, jumps and snaps because when he snaps, it's not so great. And I think with, with Frankie being like a whiz kid with the aspiration, but also a goofball, he brings like the playful kid out in Monica, which is what she needs. Like she needs all that serious type person ever since she kind of had to take care of Frankly, Frankie. And so... With him being a goofball, it just brings the joyful out of her and also making her, you know, feel safe and secure to knowing that Frankie will do what's right and also do what is, you know, good for the both of them and seeing how life will take them, especially with him being a whiz kid and Monica being a freelance botanist, because those two people can definitely make it in life really, really big with making their business very successful and very profitable. And I cannot wait to share more of this story in this mini let's play that I will be making hopefully soon. Hopefully like not too soon, but like soon. Like I want to be able to make it this month. And so hopefully you all are excited for Monica and Frankie Elkins and their story. I'm going to call it the Elkin Diaries because I think it will be kind of fun to show off their life, kind of do some storytelling in the midst of where they were before and where they are now and where they're going to end up in in the end result. And so, yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments below as always of what you thought of Monica and Frankie Elkins and their story. And hopefully you are excited for the Let's Play as much as I am. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!